it's Saturday. We're not supposed to be working, but here I am. So you could work today if you want. Uh, because I have the library stuff, obviously, in front of me, I'm going to start with that. Um, and I don't know if you want to do that at home. That's cool, too. Uh, down in the comments, I'm actually going to put my Snapchat name. So if anybody has any questions about any of their other homework that you kind of want to one-to-one -one talk about, then you can probably best reach me through Snapchat um, or Instagram. I have to look what my Instagram name is because I don't use that a lot. So I'll have to look that up. But uh, down in the comments, I'll have a couple of other ways that you guys can access me that might be easier than posting in the comments under the videos. All right. So I told some classes yesterday that the uh, videos are sometimes they sometimes take a really long time when they're long. Uh, so when we are doing uh, what is this? March Mischief. I think I'm going to probably do two chapters at a time and then upload just because it's going to take longer on my phone to do that. All right. So in your, if you are in grades three through six, you have this library packet. And so for the first week, which is next week, Monday through Friday, we are going to do chapters one through six in March Mischief and answer the comprehensions in the packet. So I'm going to read and I'm going to go through the questions in the packet with you. All right. And um, like my son Brian said, I can't read too fast because he was afraid he wasn't going to be able to keep up with me. You guys are so silly. All right, so let's start March Mischief. This is a Calendar Club Mysteries book by Ron Roy. And let's go. Our first chapter is called A Leprechaun Named Pal. Batman, shouted Nate. A pirate, yelled Brian. Groucho, cried Lucy. It was Friday, March 15th. In two days, it would be St. Patrick's Day. Every year, people in Green Lawn had a St. Patrick's Day contest. They dressed leprechaun statues in funny outfits. The mayor chose a winner, and there was a prize. Everyone who entered the contest bought a leprechaun statue for $5. The money went to help a local food bank. The four kids had chipped in and bought their statue together. They were on Bradley and Brian's front porch with a cardboard box of costumes. The kids were trying costumes on the leprechaun and on themselves. Lucy was in first grade with the three boys. She was staying with her cousin, Dink Duncan, for a year. Her parents were in Arizona helping to build a school on a reservation. Nate Hathaway and his big sister, Ruth Rose, lived next door to Dink on Woody Street. Bradley and Brian Pinto were twins and lived with their parents and older brother Josh on Farm Lane. Pal, the Pinto's dog, sniffed the green leprechaun statue. It stood about two feet tall, and the statue looked like a little green man with a bow tie. Its face had plump green cheeks and a green beard. Green buckled shoes were on its feet. Pal licked the leprechaun's face. Hey, that gives me another idea, Bradley said. Why don't we dress the statue as Pal? Huh? Nate said, a leprechaun dog? Sure, why not? Bradley asked. Everyone else will make theirs some sports hero or comic book guy. We'd be the only ones with a dog. Can we do that? Brian asked. Why not? Bradley asked. The mayor's rules didn't say it had to be a human. That's a great idea, Lucy said. We can make floppy ears, a tail, and a doggy nose. And we can name it Pal. Bradley pulled off the hat he'd been trying on and ran inside. A minute later, he came back with a box of art supplies. Bradley took out scissors, glue, clay, markers, and construction paper. The kids spent the rest of the afternoon changing the leprechaun into a basset hound. Lucy made floppy ears. They looked just like Pal's ears. Nate molded some brown clay into a nose, and Brian used a tube sock for the tail. He made brown marks on it like the ones on Pal's tail. He doesn't look like a dog, Brian said. He needs fur. I have an idea, Bradley said. He went in the kitchen to Pal's bed. Pal liked to sleep on one of Bradley's old brown sweaters. Oh man, I know where this is going. Bradley grabbed the sweater and took it outside. 
What are you doing? Brian asked. You'll see, Bradley said. He cut the sweater's sleeves off. Then he pulled it over the leprechaun's head, and the sweater made the leprechaun look furry, sort of. He looks good, Lucy said. He smells bad, Brian said. Bradley put the sweater next to the leprechaun. No, that's not what it says. Bradley put his nose next to the leprechaun. It's the sweater, he said. Well, if the mayor picks the smelliest statue, we should win, Nate said. Pal barked at the leprechaun. He rubbed his nose against the sweater. Then he curled up near its green feet and went to sleep. All right, that's the end of chapter one. I lost my packet though, so hold on a second here. Without my phone tipping over. All right, cool. So we read that. Let's check out what our stories are. All right, chapter one. Number one, who are the characters in the story? Who are the characters in the story? Pause the video while you answer your question. Question number two. What is the setting? What is the setting of the story? Even though you guys already know this, I'm going to remind you. Setting is where and when the story took place. Pause while you answer your question. Number three. What was the contest? What was the contest? Go back in the story if you need to. Question number four. What did the contest raise money for? Your packet tells you you can find the answer on page two. So go back to page two and find your answer. Question number five. Oh, my hair is wet. Number five. How are they going to decorate their statue? That's an easy question. My hair is dripping all over the table. And question number six, draw an illustration of what the statue may have looked like. So based on what you know about what they were going to make their statue look like, draw a little picture in that box about what you think the statue maybe looked like. All right. I know I said I was going to stop after every two chapters, but I think I'm just going to stop here. It's less than 10 minutes. That should upload really fast. All right. So do that. I'm going to post another and make sure you check in comments for how to get a hold of me, okay?